enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Information to our car, 690 is in a car chase. Silver Pontiac, 4818 Kansas 94. The I believe to be 1055 and have attempted to run over Jackson County Deputy. The Independence Missouri Police Department's hopped up a car that's running on three wheels apparently. And uh, they're chasing him up I-70 right now. He's only doing about 35 miles an hour, but he won't pull over. So they got the county and uh, Independence chasing him. He should be coming up on us here in a minute. Trinity, any cars on I-70 westbound by Van Brunt, try to start clearing traffic off. It's still going uh, westbound on Pavney about 35 miles an hour, coming up on the cutoff. Uh, the sergeant wants us to try to clear, clear traffic in front of the guy. I'm not sure if he's all over the road or what the problem is, but they want us to keep everybody out of the way. Good morning, Bobby. What's the address? So we're going to go up here and try to run in front of him and keep traffic clear. It looks like there's several cars after him. I cannot believe that car is still going. That's amazing. We'll just kind of try to stay where we can help in case they bail out. He's not going to last much longer, be my guess. He's, he's wanting to hit a police car, it looks like. That's where he's going. He's trying to make it to Kansas. Downtown units all downtown units. We got uh, reports of Kansas City, Missouri's in pursuit in our city. They're chasing a car that apparently has either struck or attacked a police officer in our city. I-70 westbound. I-70 westbound. And we're going to try to catch him. 18th Street. We've entered into uh, Kansas now, so we're going to have Kansas joining the chase. Uh, we have quite a few agencies here involved in the chase. We've got Missouri Highway Patrol, our city, Jackson County deputies from Missouri. This guy's on three tires now. He's riding on sparks. This guy's on his last legs here as far as his car is concerned. He's throwing sparks everywhere. He's riding on his rims. He must have an angel watching over here and keep running on that wheel like that. They said the wheel's completely gone. See, we got a lot of officers out on this one. Would you hear anything about an officer being down? Every cop in the area is going to respond. They are making efforts to ram police officers. They're trying to ram police officers' vehicles right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He tried just now tried to ram a police car. The police car had to take evasive action to keep him getting in. Almost lost it. He's trying to run the cancer off the road. Another account of aggravated. Okay, he just now he tried to ram another Kansas City, Kansas officer. He's driving pretty reckless up here. They're trying to box him in. They have much luck. They're trying to run what we call a running roadblock on him, where they uh, get on all four sides of him and slow his vehicle to a stop. Stop! Stop! Stop the car!
concert. So do we. So do we. Oh, dude. So do we. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know you guys did, too. Yeah, that'll go. Oh, yeah. This is, uh, this is Detective Cosgrove's vehicle. Bad guys try to ram him, run him off the road. He got this car, too. He hit him first. Oh, he did this guy first? Yeah, this guy, uh... and slow your patrol cars down to the point where he has nowhere to go. And what the suspect attempted to do was ram through the cars. As you can see, he didn't have anything left of his car to run on. He just kept trying to ram into Kansas City. Uh, that's a good example of interdepartment uh, cooperation. Uh, we come across the state lines, let them know what was going on, and uh, Kansas City, Kansas backed us up, and uh, they tried to box the car in. He rammed four different cars. They finally got him stopped and pulled out. Uh, they're not sure they're looking for a gun. Apparently, he pointed a gun at an officer, and they're not sure if he dumped it on the road. They haven't found it yet, but they're looking for it. And uh, it's a good job. They got, all, they got both of them in custody. The car's a little messed up, but they can fix those. It just it makes your day to get out here and catch these criminals that uh, that are threatening people, beating people, robbing people. And you know you can go home, you can go home and you can say to your wife and kids, "I did something worthwhile today. I made the streets a little bit safer today." You're not going to solve all the crime in the world, but no one person can. You know, it's a societal problem. It's not really a police problem. Uh, okay, we're in rod right now to assist another officer here in the uh, in the projects. Apparently, he spotted someone who, uh, this guy was wanted for no bond or a high, uh... That's a felony warrant. Is it? Yeah, it's a felony warrant with no bond. I'm just trying to find out where they're at now. There they go. We're going to be assisting the black and white unit down here. This guy we're looking for is known to, uh... He's had numerous counts of assault on a police officer. He carries guns, narcotics-related offenses. Just your all-around outstanding citizen. Okay, we got a pursuit. Why is this back? 712, we're in pursuit. Edward Yankee Boy, 465. We're up off of 2nd Street, uh, about 2nd Richmond. Coming up on Richmond now. Edward Yankee Boy, 465. We're uh, northbound on 2nd Street, 1900 block. Tell him it's Drac. Yeah, it's supposed to be Drac in the vehicle. He's wanted on felony, no bond warrant. Watch these kids run. Right? This guy's crazy. Okay, we're coming up on, uh, what, Springfield now? Gonna be westbound Springfield from 2nd Street. Northbound 2nd Street. Northbound 2nd Street from Springfield, approaching Quindaro. Okay, we're going to be eastbound Quindaro. Eastbound Quindaro party just fell out of the vehicle. Full pursuit, northbound. Girl, he was taking me to the liquor store. I kept telling him to stop. I didn't even know what was going on. What was that? Well, you
Like I see, I was still in the car. I never Crack moved. Crack cocaine. Man. I never even moved. I think, I'm not sure. I never even moved out the car. So I felt it. You know, McKinney, what's your date of birth? 4462. <laughs> hey, Kevin. Sir? What is there? I don't know if this is a donut. Oh, yeah, it is. A donut? I don't know what it is. Yeah. is you know, cops and donuts, you know. Yeah, you okay, dude? Yeah. yeah. Drag jump out of that car, hit that pole. I thought he gonna kill himself. I didn't know what was going on. Drag says he messed up his ribs when he hit that pole. So, well, Drag, well, Drag's got, crazy man. Drag's got pole violation too. Though. What are you doing running out like that? Uh, that violation. I don't worry about him down. He got pole violation. Hey, yo, man, ain't about that, man. Just chill, right? Man, just chill out, man. All right, going liquor store. Let me tell you. Y'all caught up. Just chill out, man. See you, right? Scared of nothing. High snakes in deep water. Bleed that. Notice the tattoo on his forehead. That's why they call him Drag. Or birthmark. I'm sorry. You want him on that side? Go ahead and have a seat, Drag. It's in your pocket. Just get in the car. Just have a seat. Have a seat. Drag. Hey. I'm a good drag. I was like, oh. Lead and I will follow. I was some good driving, boy. Man, he just left work. That's why I went ahead and cut in front of you because I knew I was already rolling and I'd get a jump on him. Right next to him, well, to get out. Did you see? Hey, listen. Hey, did, you, did, you, did you see what he did, though? No. When he made this turn here, he jumped out of the car and the car was still rolling. He hit that pole about 30 miles an hour. His body hit that pole. You know, it's pathetic that a person would run because they got a warrant and they're going to risk somebody's life just because they don't want to go to jail. What's in that little bag? There's Mr. Drack, right there. I think what he did is when he jumped out, he hit this pole. Bounced back and hit that one, and then ran, rolled out in the street like a little rag doll. I thought he was—he wanted to run, but he was too dazed. I, well, he got up and tried to run in in the woods, but he hit that other tree and bounced back out in the is street. There another tree back there? Yeah. Bounced back out in the street like, and, and uh, then he stood up and tried to run from you. And that's when we tackled him, took well, him down I didn't in the know street. If he had a gun or not? He's... Well, he—he's known to carry guns, so you got to be careful. When they're running like that, you don't know why they're running. I mean, you don't know if they just killed somebody. You know, granted, we knew he had a warrant, but that's all we knew. Like I told you, ain't nothing gonna happen tonight. It's a full moon. The rapid response team is a, a team that was handpicked by uh, Sergeant Rubenstein and went up the chain of command. And uh, our basic function is to handle as many calls for service during the peak hours of operation. We work from either seven or eight at night till three or four in the morning, and uh, with Sundays and Mondays off, so we get to see a little bit of everything. We work the weekends when it's real, real busy and during the week. Okay, we got an occupied stolen vehicle. Uh, police officer picked him up, check the license, respond back stolen. They're probably going to start chasing here many times. Northbound. Yeah. He's, going to He's coming right our way. He's coming right to us. 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 Here he comes. Here he comes. He's flying at a high rate of speed. And at 384. He's turning. We're 20th in Indiana. We got him. There's no one behind him. 384. We're going to chase him. Speed. 382 is primary. So we're going to be secondary vehicle, and we're at 18th and Benton going southbound. Approaching 23rd. We're now approaching 23rd Street. Okay, so basically this car is driving at a pretty high rate of speed. Looks like a young kid driving it. 27. He's now going westbound. We've got him right up here, as you can see. But the helicopter's got him, so... 
we should be able to get this guy. We shouldn't have much problem. Watch it, Carl. Yeah. Clear right, go, baby. You got him. And as you can see, he's right up here. He's still straight ahead. He slowed down he's some. He's going to Victor Prospect. He slowed down some. The helicopter's on him, so we should right, be in good shape. Outside. When he jumps out of the police car, we should be up. Ready, all come. Get down on 38. Yeah. Clear right, clear right, clear right. You're still clear, baby. That's right. Now, this is what police work's all about, man. Nothing like it. Good car chase. We can get back into action right now. He's a little bit out of our range. But hopefully, we'll get him before he jumps out. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. That's him. Right here. Right here. Go. 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 Watch your motorcycle. Watch. Watch. Your go after this. Go. 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 You're all right. Yeah. Still northbound. Got him. Clear right, clear right. Okay, we're setting good. It's Charlotte that he's on. Okay, Charlotte. Hill southbound from 61st Street. Go ahead, helicopter. I think I cut you. Southbound the first block west of Rock Hill. Cut down Rock Hill. Cut down Rock Hill. Cut down. Okay, good. Pump him, pump him, man. Pump Good. This is quite common. The guy just fell down the car. He's going eastbound right towards us. Right here, right here. Right here. Right here. There he is. That's a car. He's going eastbound. Let me out. Let me out. Go around the corner. Go around the corner. Go around the corner. Where is that six? 34 is on the ground. Where are you at, 6 9? Six one and rock you. Information cars on the East Metro and Tax the Party Bell, sixty one hundred block of Charlotte, Black Bell, at the eastbound. I am discontinuing the Wait, behind one of these houses. Up. He saw uh, the vehicle setting over in an area right after they had an armed robbery, and what we think is is maybe uh, this might have been the, he might have been part of the robbery, waiting for his uh, his partner to run over to the car. Officer Abney checked the license, responded back stolen. Once he saw the police behind him, he took off at a high rate of speed, and that's what led up to all these events. Uh, subsequently, came over to this area and bailed out of the car, and that's when we caught him underneath the car. And uh, no matter how slow the night is, you come across something like this and all of a sudden it 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 makes your day really it's uh you know my heart's still beating it's very very exciting and no one gets away right carl that's it babe let's go home